Hello ladies and gentlemen, today you guys are going to be working on a charcoal project which uses the stencils we created yesterday. So if you did not create the stencils yesterday, please make sure that you ask one of your neighbors. And if not, then there are examples on the whiteboard. You can try to copy them if you would like. Uh, there's some white paper next to the, the front desk. Also, we're going to be reusing an old art piece which was done on Monday so this art piece is gonna get passed back around if one of you guys can help out the substitute teacher by passing it back doesn't matter which one you did if it was the bobcat or if it was the, the portrait one the reason why is because we're running low on charcoal uh, compressed charcoal and vine charcoal so the majority that we the majority of the charcoal that we have is vine charcoal but it, this doesn't cover much surface it runs out very quickly and as you can tell it's very thin compared to, the, compared to the compressed charcoal so with this you are going to try to cover up a few of the areas that we erased before and then afterwards with the, with the paper towel so there's a giant roll of paper towel you only need one piece so don't go crazy and unroll the whole thing you just need a small piece fold it into multiple sections and you're gonna blend it blend 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 it's not gonna be 100 uh, percent covered with charcoal like i said we don't have enough for everybody for every single class at the moment um, but we want you to experiment with this with this uh, medium and also this activity. So that's why I'm gonna ask you to reuse one of your old art pieces and get it covered. I'll show you a quick example in just a moment. You can also use the compressed charcoal pencil, but it is gonna be a little bit harsher on your paper. We just want a, a quick amount. So we can get started. So you're gonna continue doing that until you cover up the whole paper as much as you can. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so you will have something like this. It's not perfect, but it will do for this project. You will then start off with the stencils that you have. One being at the top, and then we have two. It won't fit to size, but it's okay. Just do what you can, and then afterwards extend the lines once you start racing, three, four, and all this is going to be shown in just a moment um, at the whiteboard. There's an example at the at the whiteboard of a uh, final result as to what it should look like. Of course, it's not going to look like that 100%, but aim for it. You can add additional things try not take away but add different things to it add your own uh, style to it you're more than welcome to after you have completed all the the simple steps all right the basic ones all right so enjoy the the drawing 